Our lesson for today is titled On How Love Adds to Life. If you recall yesterday, math was in that title too. It was how sin divides us from God and the body. The maths of Christ Jesus. Sin is reductive and causes a form of division. Well, love is additive. Today I will write and speak on love. Love is like a beacon light, shining brightly to all in the darkness. If you feel unloved, unworthy of being loved or unlovable, seeing a bright light shining in your darkness will attract you to it out of curiosity, out of despair, out of anger that someone dare to impose their noise, their feelings upon you. Damn them for believing. Damn them for having the faith that they may love all persons and thereby change the world for that person by the simple act of being loved. For it works. Simply knowing that someone loves you truly unconditionally and that they will test that part excessively. Let no man ever say that they don't. For these people, they don't have any faith in other humans. They just found themselves the recipient of massive quantities of gentle, quiet, unquestioning love. The Christ Jesus had love as his ministry because of the additive principles of love. Christ wasn't preaching anything new. Jesus Christ was teaching from and of the same scriptures that everyone knew and that everyone had been teaching from and for over 50 generations. But the Christ Jesus taught. He taught about love. Love one another as I have loved you, he commanded. And love your neighbors as yourselves was his law. These were like siren calls to everyone. For Christ loved everyone, turned no one away, regardless of their country of origin, their occupation, or their current religion, or lack thereof. Yes, he loved pagans, and they were among the first Christians. Samaritans were pagans. Samarians were pagans. Hellenists were pagans. Romans were pagans. And they were all among the first Christians. He even loved those who hated him and were actively planning his murder. Now imagine a love so strong and pure that he loved even those whom he knew were to help him fulfill his destiny. Murder 
by the Jewish people upon a cross. And then the fulfillment of the scriptures, the most glorious resurrection, three days later. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but have eternal life. Amen.